Headquarters with our top story. Rona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, it has been almost a week since little Jaslyn Adams was shot and killed. Now at least one of the people involved in her death is facing more than a dozen felony charges, including murder. He's 18 years old. He's being charged today in connection with the murder of seven-year-old Jaslyn Adams. Superintendent David Brown is talking about Marion Lewis, who is now facing first-degree murder in the death of seven-year-old Jaslyn Adams and 17 other felony charges that include attempted murder and vehicular hijacking. He was arrested Thursday on the Eisenhower. Well, we got shot by the police over here. We're told officers with the gang intelligence unit had him under surveillance and when they tried to pull him over, he crashed, tried to carjack a family and then shot at police, who fired back, striking Lewis in the arm. Everybody's okay, we got one guy hit. Officers recovered two firearms from Marion Lewis at the time of the arrest. And one of them was an AK-47, like pistol grip sort of uh, pistol. Uh, both those weapons that were on his person that were recovered, uh, they did test positive to the murder weapons used at the scene to kill Jaslyn. Little Jaslyn died last Sunday while at a Westside McDonald's drive through with her dad, 29-year-old John Tay. Daddy. Last words, daddy, a panicking daddy. I see my daughter face down in my car. I will never forget those. I want my daughter's killers locked up. Investigators believe he was the intended target and he was shot, but his daughter was hit six times. She was the light of everybody's lives. She really was. Her grandmother, Lawanda McMullen, spoke with us earlier via phone about a little girl who loved to dance. I rarely ever seen her sad, you know. Yeah, uh. bubbly is the right word for it, very bubbly. She spent today packing up little belongings. She was so beautiful. I just missed her. I, I just got to uh, putting her, little, all her clothes and shoes and her bike and stuff away. Telling us Lewis needs to stay locked up. I don't want him out on the street because if it's if not Jaslyn, who, who else? And while the family is glad charges have been filed, they want everyone involved to face consequences. You know, a little bit of relief, but not a lot, because they don't have all the suspects in custody right now. McMullen also thanked CPD today for their hard work thus far. Police making it clear as well that they are looking for more suspects, though they declined to say how many. They also stopped short of saying Lewis was the one who pulled the trigger, saying their specific statement at this point is that they're sure he was involved in Jaslyn's death. For a full list of the charges Lewis is facing, you can click on this story on our website, and he is due back in court tomorrow. We're live at police headquarters, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.